Hi to all, I hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome to the FreeCAD 1.0 release notes video. For this video, the interface theming is offered by the Open Theme add on, and the viewport navigation is offered by a 3D connection space mouse. In order to get the same experience as interface appearance, you need to go into Tools, Add on Manager, search for Open Theme and install it. With the introduction out of the way, let's get to it. The first and, uh, in my opinion, the most uh, important feature introduced with uh, FreeCAD 1.0 is the new topo naming algorithm. In FreeCAD 1, the long-standing topological naming problem has finally been addressed uh, thanks to the joint efforts and the hard work of several developers. Real Thunder's algorithm uh, has been carefully implemented and improved to work in the master version of FreeCAD. The project took uh, over a year and the initial implementation has been finalized with the following uh, pull request enabling the improvements. The toponaming problem is not completely solved and further improvements uh, will follow in the next version. The topological naming problem in FreeCAD refers to the issue of shape uh, changing its internal name after a modeling operation uh, is performed. This will result in other parametric features uh, that depend on that uh, shape to break or uh, being correctly computed. This uh, issue affects uh, all uh, objects in FreeCAD but uh, is especially notable when building solids uh, with uh, the part design on workbench and when dimensioning those uh, solids with the TechDraw workbench. Next, FreeCAD has a new built-in assembly workbench based on the original work done for what we wish to call the other FreeCAD. Another software also named FreeCAD with uh, motion sim simulation capabilities created that at uh, the same time uh, as uh, FreeCAD. The porting has been done uh, by the other FreeCAD's author himself and with this dramatic move both FreeCAD's are now finally united. The new FreeCAD uh, assembly workbench uses the open source uh, on-cell solver. It has capabilities as uh, exploded view, a bill of materials and support for the toponaming problem mitigation code was added. Also, flexible subassembly support was added. Subassemblies added to a parent assembly can be defined as rigid, a solid unit or flexible, allowing movement of their uh, individual components. Changes in user interface. A rotation center indicator has been added. The indicator is shown when the view is rotated by dragging the mouse. It can optionally be disabled in preferences. There are also settings for the, its color, transparency and size. Selection filters uh, were added, facilitating the selection of vertices, edges and faces. For more flexibility, the task panel is now a standalone widget. It can be docked uh, on top of the combo view to achieve the compact layout uh, of earlier versions. The appearance of the transform tool dragger has been improved. It now also has a set of planar draggers for moving objects along the three default planes. Real Thunder's feature allowing for the overlay of dock widgets, tree and task transparency has been added. The light source position can now be set in preferences. The preferences window was redesigned to replace the tabs with a tree view. A tab bar workbench selector was added. It can be enabled and configured in preferences workbenches. A new universal measurement tool was added replacing the old part measure tool. The Start Workbench has been replaced by a Start Page, a QT widget-based app. It can be displayed using the Help Start option. The visual design of the Start Page has been overhauled. It now looks more modern and uh, consistent. Support for 3D Connection Space Mouse was greatly improved. We can now access its customizations uh, by right-clicking on the toolbar, Spaceball Motion, and spaceball buttons. The Arc workbench has finally been merged uh, with BIM. 
becoming the new Beam Workbench. The new Beam Workbench keeps uh, all the tools from Arc and adds uh, a few more and brings many refinements to the whole Beam and architectural design workflow. Plus, better setup and management uh, tools and better IFC support. Coming from the Beam Workbench, some uh, all-in-one uh, Arc uh, tools have been split into different use cases. The, the Arc Building Part tool has been split into the Beam Building and Beam Level tools. The Arc uh, Structure tool has been split into Beam Column, Beam, beam and uh, Beam Slab. And the Arc Windows tool has been split into Beam Window and uh, Beam Door. Internally, those tools still produce the same object, only with different IFC types and uh, presets applied. Native IFC has also been merged into the new Beam Workbench. With uh, native IFC, you can now work on IFC files in FreeCAD uh, natively, with no more translation to and from the FreeCAD file, file format. The Arc uh, cut plane command has been improved. It is now nesting uh, and link aware and the selection is more flexible. Edges can uh, also be selected, uh, making the Arc uh, cut line command obsolete. The beam preferences have been uh, checked uh, and improved. The pages in the preferences and editor have a new layout. An opening only preset has been added to the Arc window command. The Arc roof object has now a subvolume property. This allows uh, to use a custom solid object as the subtraction volume for a roof. The new Beam Workbench also offers a series of new management tools to help you set up your project or bulk manage IFC properties of your object. IFC OpenShell, another piece of open source software needed to work with IFC files in FreeCAD, is now bundled in all official installer packages. Come Workbench The Puff Workbench is now named CAM. REST machining was implemented to take input from the G-code of earlier operations, instead of using the internals of area operation. This enables support for REST machining in area operations after non-area ones, most notably adaptive. G43 tool height compensation was added to Centroid CAM post processor. A feed retract option was added to drilling operation settings for reaming and boring. A new CAM simulator based on low-level open glide functions, faster and more precise, was added. The VCARVE operation was reworked to include features commonly avail available in other CAM softwares. Step down, finishing pass, head movement, optimization and debug Voronoi method making it possible to drastically improve the carved surface uh, quality while increasing the carving speed up to 50%. Machinability material models were added along uh, with several materials. Radial dimensions now only show a single arrow. A oblique angle property has been added uh, to draft uh, shape string. Support for hyperlinks uh, has been added. Hyperlinks to local and remote files and uh, URLs in the draft text and draft labels can be opened from their tree view or the 3D view context menu. The draft working plane code has been uh, reworked. There is now a working plane for the 3D view. The history feature and the alignment uh, options of the draft select plane command have been improved. The behavior of the grid has been improved. Its uh, visibility is now stored uh, per free review. When switching to a different workbench, all the grids are hidden. The draft preferences uh, have been checked and improved. A new mouse delay setting has been added to the general draft preferences. A button to quickly change the color of the grid has been added to the task panel for, of the draft select plane command. A fuse property has been added to draft point arrays, draft path, path arrays, and draft path twisted arrays. FEM Workbench The position of the color legend labels was adjusted uh, to make the top ones less likely to be covered by the navigation cube. 
The default font uh, and color of the labels uh, was changed to increase the visibility and preferences were added to allow label, color and size modification. The FEM post filter linearized stresses command can now use the stress tensor component for linearized uh, stress computations. Support for cyclic symmetry via tie constraint in Calculix was added, making it possible to analyze models with rotational periodic symmetry with using a single repetitive sector. Support for 2D analysis was added for the Calculix solver. As the first step towards the support for hexahedral elements, uh, their generation using uh, GMesh uh, subdivision technique is now possible thanks to the new GMesh properties subdivision algorithm. New view properties were added to the results uh, pipeline objects. Mesh, edge color and uh, width can now be changed for the surface with edges display mode. Node size can be modified for the nodes mode. There is also a transparency setting for all modes. Fem constraints can uh, now be suppressed. Support for Calculix's uh, rigid body constraint uh, was added, finally making it uh, possible to simulate torsion of arbitrary components and apply remote loads among others. Material Workbench The material handling system including the editor has been completely reworked. Further improvements in this regard will follow. Appearance uh, preview was added to show materials in the same way they will be shown in the documents. The new material system is now used for appearance properties. Part Workbench Part Scale tool was added to allow for easy scaling of shapes without having to use tools from the draft workbench. Part Mirror now supports reference objects uh, such as Part Plane to define an arbitrary mirror plane in addition to the standard XY, XZ and YZ planes. Part Design Workbench More modes were added to the revolution and group feature to first, to last, up to face and two dimensions. Pad and pocket task panels were improved. Offset mode was added for linear and polar pattern. The previous mode was renamed uh, to overall length. Experimental support for multi multiple solids with a body was added. It can be enabled in the preferences for new bodies or in the properties of an existing body. Up to shape mode was added for pad and pocket, making it possible to end them on uh, multiple faces, as opposed to up to face mode which allows uh, the selection of only a single face. Sketcher Workbench A contextual dimension constraint uh, tool was added to enable quick and intuitive uh, dimensioning with a single versatile tool. Tool parameters were added to allow dimensioning on the go when drawing shapes. Depending on the preference setting, on uh, view parameters they can be disabled, reduced to dimensions only or fully enabled. Moreover, modes were added uh, for the shape tools. They can be selected using the M key or a drop-down list in the task panel. Some tools have additional settings in the form of checkboxes in the task panel and uh, additional keyboard shortcuts. A offset tool was added to, uh, to allow offsetting curves. Three point rectangle mode was added uh, in two versions, three corner or center and two corners. A arc slot tool was added with two modes, arc ends and flat ends, to allow for the creation of carved slots. A horizontal vertical constraint was added. It automatically applies horizontal constraint if a line is closer to a horizontal orientation, 
or a vertical constraint if it's closer to a vertical orientation. Rendering of angle and radius constraints was improved. Angle constraints have full extension lines now. A polar transform tool was added to allow rotation and circular pattern of sketcher geometries. It is now possible to copy cut and paste sketch geometry with constraints using typical keyboard shortcuts like Ctrl C, Ctrl X and Ctrl V. Not only with a single sketch but also between different sketches or even different instances of FreeCAD. A scale transform tool was added, making it possible to scale the geometry in the sketch using a selected uh, center point and a scale factor or two reference uh, points. Tangency to B-spline edge was added, eliminating the need to use endpoints and various workarounds instead. The rectangular array move copy and clone tool were replaced with a single array transform tool. A chamfer tool was added with an option to switch uh, to fillet mode. Moreover, there is no longer a separate corner preserving fillet tool. A preserve corner option checked by default has been added to sketcher create fillet tool. The symmetry tool has been reworked. Now it works by preselecting the geometry and picking a line or a point about which the geometry will be mirrored. A preview is shown and the behavior of the tool can be controlled through tool settings. Symmetric constraint is now applied automatically when the midpoint of a line is picked. Distance dimension constraint can now be used for arc length constraints. The tree match tool can now be used in a hold and drag mode. Tag draw workbench. The cosmetic circle tool was added to allow for the creation of cosmetic circles by selecting the center and input the radius. The arc length uh, annotation tool was added to create a dimension like annotation of arc length of uh, selected edges. The Add Offset Vertex tool was added to create cosmetic vertices as uh, offsets from selected vertices. The Broken View tool was added to depict uh, long objects easily. A new Context Dimension tool was added based on the one introduced in Sketcher. The list of new features and uh, modifications introduced with uh, FreeCAD uh, 1 doesn't end here. You can take a look at a extended list at the link in the video description. Thank you for staying till the end and I'll see you in the next one.